In the last lecture, we learned why it is important to have a schema when we are creating a real world application with MongoDB as the backend database. Now, in MongoDB, we can also specify some rules for the schema, that is, for the fields of a document in a collection. For example, if we are storing a customer related data in a document, let's say customer name, we can set the rule that the name field can only store a string value. In this way, if we try to store a number value in the name field, the field will not take that value and throw an error. And this is called a schema validation in MongoDB. So if we have added a schema validation on a collection, the MongoDB will validate the incoming data in the collection. If the data is valid, that data will be stored in the collection. But if the data is not valid, the data will be rejected and it will not be saved in the database and the user will also get an error. Let's see how we can add validation on a collection in MongoDB. Let's go to MongoDB shell and let's say we want to create a customer collection and in that collection, we want to specify some rules for the document. In order to add schema validation on a collection, we need to create that collection explicitly. And we have learned how we can do that. So to create a collection, we can say db dot create collection. So this create collection is a method which we can use to create a collection explicitly. To this create collection method, first we need to specify the name for the collection. Here, I am going to call this collection customers. And then the second argument of this create collection method is a document. And inside this document, we can configure the collection. And one of the configurations which we can do here is we can add some validation. For that, here we need to specify a field called validator. To this again, we need to assign a document. And in that document, we need to specify which kind of schema we are going to create. Here, we are going to create a JSON schema. So for that, we are going to use this dollar JSON schema. And to this also, we need to assign a document. And inside this document, we can go ahead and we can specify our schema. So first of all, we are going to specify the type of the document. For that, we can use this BSON type. So this is the property using which we can specify the type of a document or type of a field. Here, this document is going to be an object. So let's specify that. Then we can also specify what should be the required fields for this document. For that, we can use another property called required. And to this, we can assign an array. And in this array, we can specify the required fields for this document. Here, let's say, I want to have a name field which should be required. Let's say we also want to collect the customer's email. So the email should also be required. And let's say the customer address should also be a required field. Now, since this command is going to be a bit lengthy, what I will do is I will copy this command and let's go ahead and let's paste it inside a code editor. Let me also format it. Now, we can also specify what are the fields we can have for the documents in this collection. For that, we can use this properties, which is again going to store a document. And here, we are going to have this name, email and address field. And along with that, we are also going to have the age and the products which the customer has bought. So let's specify the field name here. So here, the field name is going to be name. And to this, let's assign a document. And here, let's specify the type of this name. So basically, what type of data we are going to store in this name field. For that, again, we can use this BSON type. And to this, we are going to assign string. Then we can also give a description here. For that, we can use this description property. And for the description, let's say name is a required field. Then we also want to have an email field. Here also, let's assign a document. And again, in this document, let's specify the data type. For that, we use this BSON type property. And here is also, the data type is going to be string. And we can also specify a description. So I'll copy this description. And let's use it here. And let's change the description here. So here, let's say email is a required field. Then we are also going to have the address field. And this address is going to be a nested document. So here, the BSON type is going to be object. Let's also specify description here. And here, let's say address is a required field. 
then since this address is going to be an object let's also specify what are the properties we are going to have in this address document for that again we can use this properties and in there let's specify the fields for this address document so in the address we want to have the street here the type is going to be string then we want to have city here also the type is going to be string and then we also want to have the country and there also the type is going to be string and in this way we can define a more complex schema now here i want to keep things simple i just wanted to show you how we can create schema validation in mongodb so here i have shown you a simple example but this schema validation can be more complex you can have more nested documents you can have arrays you can specify object ids etc but here let's keep things simple so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this command and let's go to mongodb shell and there let me replace this command with the command which i have just copied and let's press enter so here the customer collection has been created with this schema now let's go ahead and let's try to insert a document in this customer's collection for that i'm going to use insert one method there let's specify the name field let's set the name to john let's specify email field let's say abc at xyz.com and then let's also specify the address field and this is going to be a nested document there we have this street field let's specify some street maybe abc then we have city field let's say city is london and then let's specify a country field and let's say country is uk let's go ahead and let's try to insert this document okay so i misspelled the method name so it should be insert one let's try to run this command now and you can see that one document has been inserted in the customer collection now if i go ahead and if i try to insert a document where the name is let's say i specify some numbers for example one two three and now if i try to run this command you see we have an error and here is the error message document failed validation so here when i'm trying to insert a document where i have specified the name with the numeric value since in the schema we have set the type of this name field as string it is not taking this document and it is not inserting it in the customer's collection and this is the advantage schema validation provides before inserting the document in the collection we are validating the data whether the data is proper or not and then only we are inserting it in the collection if the data is not proper in that case mongodb is throwing this error and it is not going to insert this document in the collection let's actually see that so on this customer collection let's go ahead and let's also use this find method to query the collection so here we should have only one document as you can see here so the first document which we inserted but this document has not been inserted in this customer's collection because this document failed the schema validation and when the schema validation failed the mongodb does not insert this document in this customer's collection this is all from this lecture in the next lecture let's learn a bit more about schema validation